More than 11,000 scientists signed a petition calling for population control as a means of combating climate change. That's this week's Speak Out segment. In an article published Tuesday in the journal Bioscience, the scientists wrote that planet Earth is, quote, facing a climate emergency. They argued that population control was a necessary response to this emergency, writing, quote, the world population must be stabilized and ideally gradually reduced. This ideology is dangerous because it suggests that reducing the human population is the best solution to our problems. But the petition presents no facts or data to support its claim that the human population is the cause of shrinking ice caps, rising ocean levels, and an increase in the average global surface temperature. And it doesn't show any data to prove that reducing human population could help the planet. That's just bad science. And who gets to decide which populations are controlled? The UN? Individual countries? Global intellectual elites? For years, there's been a push to shove birth control and abortion down the throats of women in developing countries who don't want either, by the way. We don't get to pick who is desirable or useful enough to reproduce and who should be restricted in the name of the global common good. That's called eugenics, and it can lead down a slippery slope to things like ethnic cleansing and genocide. Our Catholic faith considers care for the environment to be an issue of prudential judgment. We should make decisions and support policy based on four general principles of Catholic social teaching. Dignity of the human person, common good, subsidiarity, and solidarity. There can be different proposals to address the problems related to the environment, but those never should come at the expense of human life and human dignity. Population control comes at the expense of human dignity.